Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Mark, this is Spagaver Backpacking. And today what we're gonna be doing is taking a look at a comparison video. So last weekend, when Rayman and I were out on the trail, we took along seven different margaritas and 15 ounces of a really good tequila. And, you know, it had been requested. I had mentioned it in a couple of videos and people had asked for the comparison video, the margarita trail mix comparison video. And so, uh, yeah, we took one for the team. We carried the uh, the mixes and the tequila out on the trail and we mixed them up and we, we did that just for you guys. I mean, completely for you guys. We got nothing out of it. Uh, so anyway, let's jump into this and let's take a look at the different margaritas and talk about where they stack up. Let's go. All right, so I'll start mixing them up. We've got cups here, so we're gonna have them all in individual cups. And I'll probably mix like a double and then split it between two cups afterwards. Um, that way we know if we're drinking one, then two, then three. What we'll do is I'll mix one up and then hand it to you with the uh, with whatever mix it came from so you can set it in front of it or whatever or keep it with it. Oh, look at those little, little cute cups. Those are perfect. I figured those would work. Looks like I'm trying to pass a drug test. <laughs> it does. This is what it looks like when you've drank a lot. Well, yeah. That's when you, the end one is when you haven't drank anywhere near enough. This is when you've been hiking too much without drinking enough water. This one's proper-ish, yeah, that's pretty proper. <laughs> that one, you're that, near a radioactive Or you sewer. drink the amount of monster I do. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, well, I mean, this one's already got a lid not on it. Okay, I so. Mean, well, now nah, this one, but this is the go-to. I mean, oh, well, we can spread it. We can split her back up. We can we can save it for last. No, we we've got more. Let's, we, all right. Cheers. Salute. Whoa. All right. So the moonshine margarita. You had yours. And... Yeah. It's our gold standard. Uh, if you you've watched us enough, you know we've got it on pretty much every trip. Yep. It's tough to beat that one. All right, let's go with that. <laughs> that end one needs to be probably stirred up again. Okay. Like. Oh, yeah, no, it's settled. Like it settled. Yeah, it is settled. So stir that one up and distribute. Nah. What was the, what's that one called? I didn't get to see that one called. The one that we had? This oh. one. This one is, oh, so first one was a moonshine margarita. And, you know, as always, it's, it's, a, it's a good one. This one is mixology. Mixology margarita. It's a pod, uh, so it comes in these little pods, and then you can use this as the measuring cup. It's one and a half ounces, and uh, we will see how this one goes. Close enough. Good deal. <laughs> it has a very, like a plasticky taste. It's that's something, man. It's a. Uh... It's not good. Mm -mm. Thank goodness the tequila is good. Yeah, I'm gonna get a new cup. Just so <laughs> yeah, so we don't cross contaminate that one. Yeah, not good. Mixology? Mm -mm. No, no, no. All right. The, ener the energy mixed tequila margarita was better than that one. Oh. <laughs> that was bad. That was, that was, uh, yeah. How, it had no, this, this one, I'm not. This one actually I hold out a, a pretty good hope for. This it is the looks, bar keeps? It looks good, it's the bar keeps, and it's it's one little envelope for this amount. Good so. Man. That's not bad. No, that's not bad. Yeah, I could, I could deal with that one. Yeah. Taste is good. Taste is good, I'd, I'd put a little true lime in it. Yep. Oh, I agree. Just to doctor it, but no, that one's pretty solid. It's mm. not, uh, it doesn't taste like cheap Gatorade or something like that. That's a pretty good. I like right that on. one. All right. So this Next one. Next one is Baja Bob's. Baja Bob's. Baja Bob's, it's sugar free. So <sighs> okay. if you're looking for that. I've had that one. Which is why it's got so much less stuff in it. Is that one and the Margaritaville 
are both uh, sugar free, so a little bit goes a long way. I believe I've had the Baja Bobs. All right. It's 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 just mild. It's it's, it's like very yeah. There's you don't there's no flavor. It's it's bordering on no flavor. Yeah. It's not bad. We could add a little more and see if I take no things. flavor over whatever that other one was. Yep. Here I'm gonna add a little more. Okay. Just see. Yeah. Does that change the flavor at all? Adding a little bit more of this stuff, and it doesn't take much, especially when we're talking about you know an ounce. Five ounce, yeah. <laughs> an ounce in here. Yeah. All right. That one wasn't bad. It just uh, it wasn't. Uh... Actually, if you're looking for something with like no calories, no sugar, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. Do you want to try it a little yeah, bit more in there? Yeah, sure. Yeah. It's not horrible. No, it's not bad. Cool. All right. Next up, Margaritaville. Is that one Margaritaville? Yeah, yeah, this one's Margaritaville, and then this, and then this, yeah. This is Margaritaville. Okay. Margaritaville. Another sugar-free one, Margaritaville. I feel like we need to put on some Jimmy Buffett. We should. We can't take down notices. Mm. It's, it's not bad. No? It's got like a... Like a saltier mixture uh -huh. to it. It's it's briny. It's a good way to put it. It has a weird tongue feel. It's not my favorite. No. No. It's not my favorite. No. Hmm. It almost because you're using the good tequila, that almost hides the good tequila, honestly. Oh, actually. The <laughs> bottom was, of it got worse. Oh. That was not good. I'm yeah. gonna get a different cup because there you go. I don't wanna good thing we brought a bunch of them. Ah, yeah. I'm packing all these out. Don't worry. Alright, this one I actually this one I hold a lot of hope for. This came in a big bag that makes a quart, and it's like uh, specifically sold as a bar item. So that's why I'm like, all right, this one may be this one may be a contender against the uh, moonshine margarita. We did find another one. We had another one that was in packets. It was like Uno or something like that. Mm -hmm. It was really good. I searched everywhere and I could Couldn't not find, find it. it. I have to go back through. And Yeah, that one's solid. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, I'll get, do it up. Because, yeah, that, that, that might, I might put it right up there with Moonshine Margarita. Oh, that's pretty good. This one's pretty good. Mm-hmm. And they give me a little shaky shake. Oh, yeah. Let's get a little more in here. Stir this up with a little bit of true lime. Now, we didn't put, to be fair, we haven't put the true lime in all of them. But I can tell you, mm. you know. You know whether it's going to get there or not. I made it, buddy. <laughs> oh, that's good. For the price? That's good. This beats out. Does it? I don't know the price or anything, so. I think it was nine bucks for a giant bed. Enough to make a quart. Oh, shoot. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> sorry, Pega Gourmet. <laughs> mm. That's good, buddy. I wish I brought more of that one. Oh. That's good, buddy. Wow. That one was a. It does finish real tart, but I, I like that, honestly. So that's, that's Franco's Bar Mix. That's good. Franco's Bar Mix. That one is is really good. This one, I'm not going to tell you. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, okay, okay, this is a secret one. Nope. I don't want to tell you what this one is yet. I have a good I, idea. I do I do think you want some lime with this one, though. <laughs> okay, I have an idea what this one is, actually. Since, since you went that way, I have an idea. We're just throwing a little curveball one in here. <laughs> just, just to see... See where it goes. Yeah, all right. Curve, it, curveball. <laughs> but it starts with a G. Man, you're smart. Yeah, I kind of thought it might. <laughs> <laughs> I probably need it right now. <laughs> it's good we're saving this one for last. Right? <laughs> last? We, are we out of tequila? <laughs> well, all right. we can make some more. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> if you thought the other one was salty. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> I just put salt in it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. No. Alright. 
So this one is lemon lime Gatorade. It doesn't work. No. You would think it would work, yeah, but it doesn't work. I really work. thought it was going to be good. <laughs> I thought it I would thought, work. I thought it was going to be one that we were like, Honestly, uh, I expected it to be up there in the top good. three. And yeah, it's no, it is horrible. not. That is bad. That does not mix that well. That is horrible. Oh my God. Oh. Uh, all right. Franco's, <laughs> Franco's bar mix. I don't want to finish it. No. <laughs> Franco's bar mix definitely wins that round. Mm -hmm. uh, very, very close second. Yep. If it wasn't for the price, they'd be a dead tie. But because of the price difference, Franco's, I think, takes it. Yeah, I, I, um, I exact same order. And the Margaritaville and the Bobs are kind of in there for me. I think the Baja Bobs, if you're going sugar free, is mm -hmm. good. But th that one there, the bartender one, bartender, it was one, pretty solid. I, I think that one's a decent choice. Yeah. Uh, I forget. I already forgot the first one. The pod. The pod's no that's, good. That's that's a hot out. Yeah, pod's no good. The, the Gatorade is. <laughs> Gatorade's no hard good. Hard pass. Uh, for me, Margaritaville's completely out. Gatorade's uh, out. The, the others were drinkable so, for me. Baja Bob's. If you're going sugar free, probably a decent choice. The uh, bartenders is is a you know if you it's drinkable if you can get it it's drinkable. The Franco's. Absolutely, the and Francos. The, and I'll the be moonshine, looking at Francos. Moonshine margarita, absolutely. I say, well, and then they go. That's in a you know resealable bag. Blah blah blah. Yeah. blah. That, that so you know. What I'll do is I'll put pictures up of the top three that we've come up with. Uh, actually, the top four, so you guys can see what those are, and I'll leave links down in the description down below so that you guys can check those out. But that was a uh, that was our margarita test. Oh, that was the part you guys get to see. That's We're going to probably finish off this and whatever's left in that tequila. And, yeah. you know. All right, guys. Thanks for checking it out. If you have any questions, any comments, leave them down below. If you have any other margarita mixes that you know of that we could get, send them over. We're always looking for new ones. Absolutely. And we will absolutely try them out out here We'll do the, on the trail. We'll do research for you. Look, I carried 15 ounces of tequila <laughs> and seven different types of mix out on a trail to do this out here where it belongs being done. Yeah, we're dedicated. Absolutely. We do this for you. <laughs> All right guys, see you down the trail. All right. So, after we after we got done, I mixed up a proper one uh with the ratio, the way that it really calls for it, and I got to tell you, man. This moonshine margarita. It's tough to beat. It's tough to beat. It is tough to beat. Yes, the Franco's is really good. Uh, we'll probably play you know with the Franco's. I think more. I think I will bring the rest of the Franco's out on the next trip that we do, along with I'll order another moonshine margarita. Don't order one. I got eight. You got eight. I have eight. All right, <laughs> he's got eight. <laughs> I guess I don't need to order one. I think we're set for a couple trips. Eight trips? <laughs> Maybe two. Two trips. Two trips. Uh, <laughs> but I got to tell you, man, this mixed up properly is insanely good insanely good so franco's in the one to one ratio the franco's shined let's see what it was well, say is let's it see what it is like this we we sit here and we we drink these we know kind of how we like them we can put a spoon in we can play with the mixture maybe that gives it an edge because my taste is different in your taste yeah. and so i just put in an extra half spoon of mix maybe that gives it that small edge that you could know. be man Pick one that you can't yeah. go wrong. I don't think you're going to go wrong. No. Franco's, Moonshine Margarita, Packet Gourmet. You're drinking margaritas in the woods with your friends, 10 miles from anybody else. Not not to mention. How can you go wrong? This is not bad tequila. Not bad tequila at all.